The people are expected at a meeting tonight over reduced hours at two Fort Leonard Wood gates. The base made the announcement last month, and since then, community leaders and lawmakers have voiced their concerns. Marina Silva went to the Roby Community Center, where in about two hours, people can have their say. It's probably the lowest on their priority list of things to worry about. Randall Adarme is active duty at Fort Leonard Wood. He uses the South Gate frequently with his family, especially during his long shifts. Why are they doing that and making it more difficult for the drill sergeants to get home safely and a lot quicker? You know, it's a, it's a lot quicker from point A to point B than having to take the roundabout way to get home and add the extra risk of falling asleep at the wheel. Tonight, people who live on base, off base, state and federal lawmakers and leaders at Fort Wood will gather to talk about gate hour changes. South gate hours will be open from 4 a.m. to 9 p.m., while the west gate hours will be open from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m starting next week. Fort Leonard Wood leaders couldn't interview earlier today, but they did last month when the announcement was made. The soldiers working those gates are starting to impact our main mission of training. Um, Fort Leonard Wood is resource for two gates, one 24-hour gate and one daytime gate. Uh, and so it requires additional soldiers to maintain four gates you know, at various times around the post. Colonel says they are looking at other options, especially when it comes to Fort Wood emergency crews making it to people off base. Some long-term mitigation of potentially automating some gates. Um, near term, specifically for emergency services, uh, we're planning Department of Emergency Services will get to a gate that needs to be open uh, within 20 minutes. Adarme says he hopes they take concerns into account and not close the gate. And just, you know, being gate guards is something that is a job opportunity for someone that needs a job. That meeting starts at 630 tonight at the community center. It's expected to last about an hour and a half. Fort Wood did confirm that base leaders would be there to listen.